President Obama signed orders Thursday to close the military prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where terror suspects are held. We'll get to that story shortly. First, let's look at world reaction to Mr. Obama's inauguration and what people in different countries say they hope he can achieve. We start with a sampling of opinions among Africans and Americans. What we visited today in Capitol Hill was a very mature political culture where actions are taken not because they are written down in rules but because they are expected of people to behave that way. That is what political culture is all about. But why was it not for Obama I wouldn't have been here. I think it's a, Barack Obama is a blessing to us and a blessing to Kenya because it, uh, he has brought Kenya from far. And I'm hoping that Obama will do great things for Africa. It's, uh, we're going to be part of history. I'm excited. I get to tell my kids and grandkids about it, how I was here and I was part of it. Our leadership in Africa, both in, at all levels, in politics and economics, need to embrace the views and the energy that the young people possess and that young people and the people of all races and of all backgrounds, no matter how humble they are, that they should continue to believe in themselves, to believe that your past may not necessarily actually affect your future.